All right, guys, um, welcome back to the channel. And this is something just a little bit different today. And about probably a week and a half or two, I'm hitting on my annual free dive and spear fishing adventure. So before I go, I just thought I'd give you a rundown of some of my gear that I have, just to see whether you free divers and spearers out there have the same sort of stuff or, you know, can improve things for me. I'm not a professional. I'm an amateur diver, so however, I am planning on getting my open water uh, scuba certificate, so it'll just give me an option. So uh, just give me a rundown, gives you the rundown of what I'm actually about, and I'm mean, no professional at all. So, with no further ado, we will go through some of the gear I have here. Now, bear in mind some of this stuff I've had for a few years, but just gives you an idea what I got. What a first things up. Are these little beauties, Boche, Mundil Elites, whatever it is. Now I'll tell you what, these are really, really, really good thing, guys. Those who have them out there know they are really good. Um, these are my second pair, and um, yeah, look, I initially started with some open heel fins, which I'll show you in a minute. But these are really nice. Look at the veins on there, guys. Now this is probably more for a stronger swimmer and um, a heavier weight diver, which I am. And you can see, it's got a bit of flex in it still. But it's a plastic blade, so it's not as good as carbon fibre, but I haven't needed to go to carbon fibre yet, and I probably never will, but who knows. And I've got sort of flat club of feet, so this pocket suits me well. Very nice. I've got the inserts here, I just prefer to have them in there. Some people chuck them out, but you know, I like them in there. Now the little beauty about this is, it's modular. For those guys who don't know what that means, is you can undo this here, take this blade out, put something else in there, like a carbon fiber or whatever. But look, realistically, this is getting to the top of the line for the plastic fins up there. And unless you're doing something really serious or professional, this is really gonna see you well. All right, that'll be for this one. Now, so actually we'll put this guy over here, get him out of the way. Right, this is what this is what I was talking about before. This is the Marlin Open Heel Breed Diving Spear Fishing set, which I first got originally. Now as you can see, very thin blade, plastic, not in the same league as the Beauchene Mundle Elites, but Nevertheless, it does the job. Um, it is not modular, so these things are molded in one thing, in one piece. So if you need to upgrade, you're gonna have to upgrade the whole lot. Another thing, these are open pocket, which is highly unusual for free diving or spear fishing. But I'm mean, sure you guys out there probably use these for scuba and spear fishing. So if you do, let me know. I mean, I use these. I mean, I had the boots. I think where are they? These are the boots I used in there, and they work quite well. However, I found I didn't have the same sort of leverage that I with enclosed heel, but look, for the price and the value, it was really good. I think I got the Land Ocean, what's it, Land, Land Sea and Sports mask with it as well, which is really good. I mean, it's a reflective one. This is actually a pretty good quality mask. I mean, part of the kit. I mean, they probably went a little bit budget on the fins, but they got a cut corner somewhere, I suppose. But this mask I've used, and it's pretty much up there with all the other stuff that I use. So anyway, so yeah, that's an open heel. So you don't see many people using these for free diving, but I'm not gonna get rid of it because it's handy to have. So for a backup or in case someone needs a fin and um yeah so it's ready to go so there you go there's the marlin land and sea sports oh yeah let's go here now this thing here <laughs> these are my snorkeling fins slash free diving whatever these are the ones that i carry all the time in the car with a mask which is right here and i do have a snorkel somewhere for it but it's blue Budget style, but look, 
if you haven't got much room in your car or whatever you're traveling chuck these in there masks you know flippers mask snorkel in the bag and you should be ready to go i mean sometimes when i'm traveling i'm really you know i'm really packed up in the four wheel drive and i just don't have room for my large fins but i still have something like this because i could be driving along somewhere along the coastline i want to go for a swim and a dive these will still get me there but they're not the quality but they'll get you out of trouble not only that i mean if you go to a pool somewhere or aquatic center you want to get some more free diving time in this is still better than nothing and um, i've had this for years there's a bit of wear on them but look again i've got the inserts in there but these are flex by i don't know who they are mirage mirage i think they are so yeah that's a good option to have i always have these anyway so i like to have a big kit i can just grab what i want when i want and go sometimes i take a hell of a lot more stuff than i need which happens a lot of times i don't like to do it but it does happen but um yeah so snorkeling kit slash free diving is pretty good i should put that over here again what have we got here yeah you guys know what this is this is the uh, spear spear fishing or free diving safety boy um, it's got the flag on it i choose this particular type um because they got because um i can pack it up i can deflate it and it's easy to put in the car i mean i'm constrained with space sometimes so i'll have to actually um yeah deflate this and put it in but it's got everything you need it's got all the attachment points on there as you can see um, you hook it up chuck your bag under here to hold all your stuff or just take it behind you but look you know there are some other ones out there like i think they're a solid type of boy or whatever it is or marker boy or safety boy but this this does the job for me and um, yeah, i've never had any problems with it so if you guys have let me know in the comments below and um, you let me know what type you use i mean like i said i haven't got the real free diving stuff i just use the basic stuff i have which i can use for um free dive and spear fishing so that's not a bad option to have as well actually chucking over here as well uh, what else have we got here rightio now here is my weight belt which i use this is the rubber one the marseille weight belt as you can see i've got some weights on there at the moment i'll have to adjust them because i haven't done it for a while but the rubber one is the better one rubber strap because it just doesn't ride up on your torso as much and um look why wouldn't you for the price i mean i do have a um, nylon right here i think which i started off with originally they're all right they'll get you out of trouble but down the track you probably want to go, go to this kind of um, belt get your weights on there quick release so if you get into trouble just flick this thing and the whole thing should just drop away so definitely worth having guys a weight um, what else is there? Rightio. Just go through this. Now, I do have a wetsuit. It's just a 3mm steamer wetsuit, adrenaline one. It's not full face or anything or hip cover, but it does meet what I need. I mean, I don't go diving in real cold depths, cold areas, so at the best of time, I don't feel the cold much at all. But I do like to have it there because it is a good thing to have. You just never know when you need it. So, yeah, a good uh, wetsuit is handy to have. I know you can go berserk with the prices and quality, but like I said, I am budget conscious and I try to keep costs to a minimum, but I like to buy the best quality stuff I can at the time. So yeah, a wetsuit is definitely worth having, guys. Don't forget that. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, okay. Got some Pro Blue diving gloves that's self-explanatory what these are for so it braze your hands when you're diving or going through rock caverns or caves which you shouldn't be unless you're qualified so yeah you know but that's actually a very good thing to have what else is there actually these are the mirage booties these are not like the boots here for the open heel these are scuba i actually use these for white water kayaking as well so you can use it for all sorts of stuff but these are more for the fins as well Gives you a nice tight fit so that yeah so that sort of helps you out there so it gives you a choice between the boot or the um 
what do you call little booties here, but definitely worth having. I like to wear these instead of just going bare feet. It's just makes the dive a little more comfortable. Right, yeah, okay, we've got these boots out of the way. Let's have a look here. Now, this is my Ocean Pro, what do you call it, cover, head cover. Now, I have it, I don't have it one piece, like I said. For me, it's just more suitable at the moment just to have that hooked in under the wetsuit. You know, and I quite like it that way. I know you guys, I'm looking like a one piece. Like I said, I'm not professional. I just have bits and bobs here and I just sort of mix and match how I feel on, on the day and how cold I am. But I always have that with me. Um, what else is there? Let's, all right, hand spear. You don't really need this. I mean, I have it. I've got the extra length. I don't. I only made this short for you guys so you can see what it looks like. You've got your barbs there and basically you put your hand in there and you let rip like that. I mean, you know, hey, it does work. I have used it. You can have the extra length on it, which is obviously advisable. But when you go spear fishing, you want to have something like that. Now I do have a proper spear gun. I think it's a Corbia or something is, which is a two band rubber one, which is in storage, locked away. But um, yeah, so there's an option of that as well. All right, so that spear gun out of the way. What else is there? Okay. Knife. This is about the only knife I sort of carry with me when I'm diving. It's only a basic stainless steel, small knife. Another thing too, I mean, I think you guys know this, if you're gonna carry rope around you or anything like that, always have a knife so you can cut it with it. I mean, it's just safety. Um, you don't need a great big crocodile under your knife when you go diving. Something like this is fine. Again, fits the hand nice. Clips on the belt. You can actually put this around your leg if you want, but I'll just slide it through my belt. Hooks in. And it's done. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Not a problem. Um, now this thing here, this is more of a scuba diver knife, but I managed to grab one. I think it's called the Sunfish. Some of you guys out there who dive might know a bit about this sort of thing. But yeah, look, I mean, I got it from a mate of mine who didn't want it. It's used, as you can see. It's got the straps. I don't think anyone wears these anymore, but if they do, let me know. But it's a great thing for the collection. It's got a nice stainless steel blade on it. I think it's made in Japan, this one. And um, yeah, look, this will do some damage. But I mean, it depends on where you go, of course. If you're expecting big trouble, which I hope you're not, you'll take this. But it good, it's a good backup plan. So it has got a bit of weight in it. So if you're weight conscious, this is probably more for scuba or um, technical divers or something like that. But I still have it and I won't say no to it. You just never know when I need it. All right, what else is here? Right. UK divers out there, I haven't actually used this, but again, this is from my mate who didn't want it. This is a cave diving wheel. Um, you never know. Get me an open water certificate down the track, I might want to do some um, cave diving. Who knows what's going to happen? If not, someone might need to use it. I've got it there. You know, it's got a bit of weight in it, so normally I don't take this stuff with me, but that's just another thing. Also, I have a lot of mesh bags. Into small mesh bags like this are quite handy to put bits and bobs in there, your, your fins in there, or whatever. Whatever, there's always something that you need to put into a bag. So, I like these, so these are really, really great. So, that's a good option for you. Um, another thing I've got here is a dive torch, pretty basic. I haven't got the batteries in it at the moment, but I've done a couple of night dives, and that's quite interesting. It's a whole different world down there during the day, but it's well worth having a torch if you're gonna start doing a little bit of night diving. But again, you're within the limits and safety. Right, uh, what else have I got here? Right, this is my Aqualung. It is the I200. Now, you, it's a free diving watch, but it does, um, what is it? Nitrox, free dive, it's used a changeable standard battery, so. You know, it's a good little beauty. I quite like it. I've actually just put it in the box for you guys so it looks, so you know what it looks like, but this is a great thing to have. I mean, I use the SKX, which is an older style dive watch, but really you want to be getting yourself into this kind of stuff. I mean, for the price, what they are now, you know, you get a lot of information. So really worth having, guys. Um, I don't know what else is there. Right, I'm just gonna go like some of these masks that I've got. 
This is the Pro Blue South Beach, which I use with my Mundo Elites. Not a bad little mask, quite um, low volume, frameless. Really good suction. Fits my head well, it might fit your head very good, but it really works well for me. Put that aside. Um, this one here is with the Land, Sea and Sports. Now, again, this is a really, really good mask for, for the kit. I mean, you know, value certainly in that. I mean, the, the fins might be the best quality, but if you're just starting out, Go for it guys, again, good suction. Not a problem, obviously we've got the um, Corby and Flex snorkel which I use for my free dive, very simple, none of this purge nonsense. Um, this clip, I don't like these, I'll put a, we call it um, that rubber eight, figure eight sort of neoprene, not neoprene, um, yeah, what do you call it, rings type of thing on it which just hangs off better. And just a very basic snorkel, guys. And it's flexible, and that's the good thing. Now, the Land Sea and Sport gives you a bit of a purge valve. Again, it's okay for the quality, but it's not up there with the other stuff. But look, for someone starting out, I would have no problems in um, recommending that. Oh, let's have a look. Right. In here, bits and bobs. I just like to have some stuff in there, like spare batteries for my torch. Um, brass swivels to hook things on. There's the keepers, snorkel keepers, extra bands for me. What do you call it? Um, mask. It's always good to have that in there. Uh, I don't know, what else is there? I think that's about pretty much it, mate. I think that's where I've covered just about everything. So, yeah, look, um, if you like what you've seen, um, comment below, subscribe to the channel. And um, dive safely, guys. And um, yeah, don't do any silly things. And don't get yourself in a situation that you don't come home. All right? So take care and bye for now.